Hello and welcome to another vlog. This one's a worm update. So this is my worm container. It's a 54 litre um, container. And the thing that I'm finding is that like, it's really difficult to kind of um, see the progress because I think that the amount of worms that I bought is definitely too little for the size of the container. So I thought, what I'd do is start a new um, worm bin. I've just got this tiny little three litre container. Um, what I'm going to do is put some bedding and food in um, and just 10 worms. So the bedding that I'm going to use is um, some fluffy uh, egg cartons, which I did in the um, blender. Uh, my worm chow and some uh, blended up food. So I'm gonna set up the bin now and then find some worms to add to it. So yeah, first things first, I'm gonna add, this is just one um, six egg carton, um, all blended up. It's nice and fluffy. And the reason why I wanted to try this was because it'll be easier for me to then see what's going on um, with with the worms. Because um, I did use um, kind of shredded up cardboard, but that's all quite thick and heavy and it's, it's quite difficult to see kind of any changes, but having a nice smaller thing will kind of uh, allow me to observe it a bit easier. Anyway, I'm gonna water this down a bit. See, so yeah, I'm going to use um, rain water to dampen this a bit. Should soak it up quite nicely. And the smoothie will um, provide quite a lot of moisture as well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to also take a little bit of bedding from the big bin because um, that's going to contain all their all the uh, stuff that they're used to. Right, and then spread this little smoothie, which is just um, lettuce and some strawberry tops. But not much. There's not much there at all. So, yeah, there you go. And then also a tablespoon of my um, worm chow, which I've made up, which is um, two parts rolled oats, two parts flour, and one part um, crushed eggshells. grinded up eggshells so that provides their like grit and everything what I'm gonna do actually is add a bit more um, uh, shredded up cardboard I think to um, just bulk it up a bit more so yeah but it's still fine because um, I'll still be able to sort of observe it um, just on a smaller scale and see any changes because I'm quite patient but I also want to learn um, on a more rapid kind of basis so if I do it on a smaller scale I'll be able to see changes happening faster instead of waiting four months five months for that all that big bin to get really broken down so yeah yeah that's definitely enough moisture in there All right so now I'm gonna go into the big bin and find 10 lucky worms right so here's my big bin and yeah so I'm just gonna pop the new thing in here First of all, just gonna put 
put in loads of um, cardboard and stuff from here because it'll contain like all their some of their own castings and stuff kind of make it feel a bit like home Yeah, the reason I'm going to put in exactly 10 is because it's also going to be like a little bit of an experiment to see, like, to see if after, I don't know, two or three months, are there more than 10 worms. There you go. Might also put a tomato in there because I know that they like tomatoes. Here you go, tomato and a carrot. A little treat for them. We'll dig down a bit in a bit and find some worms. But I also want to make sure that I don't add any cocoons. There you go, I think that's enough. And obviously I'm going to be checking this every day, just to make sure they're happy. But yeah, there you go. So now I'm going to dig down a little bit and find some worms. There you go. There's one. And, oops. It's two. Four. Go on. Five. They're very quick. So they've all run away. There you go. Six. Seven. Go on, three more. You see what I mean? They're quite hard to find um, when you've got so few. There you go. Eight. Nine. 
I see you. And ten. Ta-da. I'll put that back as best as I can. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna, I might just put a little bit more bedding on top. Maybe some bits of food from here as well. Can we find anything else? There's a bit of apple. Oh, there's a cocoon. Little cocoon there. So we'll take off that gunk. Give them a bit of apple. I'll leave it. They've got enough for now. But obviously, um, what you wouldn't usually do is keep them in a clear container. But um, what I'm going to be doing is, I'll take this out quickly. Oh yeah, I still have to make a video on this thing. Oh, you can't see it. This thing. That'll be the next one. So what I do is put the uh, piece of cardboard in there. The actual then this worm bin I'm going to be keeping in here so then it's like the same sort of temperature and stuff like that and then the lid which um, that ah, I still need to put some holes in the top of the lid but I'll do that now but yeah good to go so yeah cheers for watching what I'll try and do is like on a weekly basis get better at um, kind of doing a worm update um, to sort of uh, see how things are going in both bins yeah all right well cheers for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye